the sport continues to mourn the loss of Formula 2 young gun Antoine Hubert, who succumbed to his injuries on Saturday following a horrific multi-car crash at Belgium's Spa-Francorchamps circuit. Hubert, a top gun of the Renault Sport Academy, was destined for greatness as 2018 GP3 champion and a two-time F2 race winner. His passing sent shockwaves through the sport. His family present as Formula 3 and F1 each had a minute's silence. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc, who was a close friend, dedicated his win to Hubert. He will be missed. Mercedes finally confirmed its plans last week for 2020, exercising its option on Valtteri Bottas to retain the Finn, alongside five-time F1 world champion Lewis Hamilton. The move ensures all important stability at the Silver Arrows into the final year of the current technical regulations and will be Bottas's fourth season with the dominant squad. Bottas has shown improvement over his 2018 results this year, winning in Australia and Azerbaijan, with better results in Monaco, France, Austria and Great Britain. His crash in Germany the only real blip so far. And while he's lagging 65 points behind Hamilton post-Belgium, the Finn is determined to mount a title campaign next season. My overall target is to become Formula One world champion, he said. I believe that on paper and from my experience with the team, Mercedes is the best option for me to achieve that goal in 2020. Staying with Mercedes and Bottas's confirmation signaled the end of its association with Esteban Ocon, who joins Renault from 2020 alongside Daniel Ricciardo on a multi-year contract. Ocon had originally agreed a deal with Renault for this year, but that was scrapped when Ricciardo became available, forcing the 22-year-old onto the sidelines as Silver Arrow's reserve driver. Ocon is a natural fit at Renault, not only as a Frenchman at his national mark, but as a former reserve racer at the Enstone team. The young gun was naturally excited to make his Grand Prix return. The confidence they have in me to help the progression of the team is a very positive pressure, and I look forward to giving the best of myself, he said. The news means Nico Hülkenberg is out of a drive. Though the German said he saw it coming, with a change of dynamic over the summer break, it's rumored he may replace Romain Grosjean at Haas. Sergio Perez has committed his long-term future to Racing Point, having inked a new contract to the end of 2022. It's a bold move, given the sport's new technical regulations in 2021, but the Mexican is keen to stay on, given the team's new owners. I believe the best times are still to come, and I look forward to celebrating plenty of podiums in the years ahead, he said. Pierre Gasly drove an aggressive race to ninth in Belgium, no doubt reeling from his shock switch from Red Bull to Toro Rosso. Having been assured after Hungary, he was safe until the end of the year. Just eight days later, Gasly was demoted, with the Frenchman informed just a few hours before the announcement. He will now focus on the final eight races and believes a return to Red Bull Racing is possible. I am not thinking about it now, but that is what they said, and for sure, I think there will be other opportunities, he said. F1 is set for its longest ever season next year, with the sport releasing a record 22 race draft calendar ahead of the Belgian Grand Prix. The bumper schedule for F1's 70th anniversary season came about with Spain securing a one-year extension and new races in the Netherlands and Vietnam. The season starts in Melbourne on March 15th, with seven back-to-back -back events including Azerbaijan and Canada. Italy on September 6th remains subject to a contract signature. To make up for the extra event, testing has been reduced, the pre-season allocation going from eight days to six, while the two in-season tests have been scrapped. Abu Dhabi's end-of-season meet has been extended from two days to three, with two days for rookies. Thanks for watching.
To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.